Hi students, this is Sivakumar, 10th Standard Mathematics, Chapter No. 3, Continuation of Exercise 3.12. Now problem number 5. Listen, a pole has to be erected at a point on the boundary of a circular ground of diameter 20 meter in such a way that the difference of its distances from two diametrically opposite fixed gates P and Q on the boundary is 4 meters. Is it possible to do so? If answer is yes, at what distance from the two gates should the pole be erected? Right. First, we can draw a circular ground of diameter 20 meter. Circular ground. Diameter 20 meters. You know that diameter is the chord, it's the longest chord of a circle passing through the center of a circle. This is a one boundary of the diameter, sir, one extreme end of the diameter, another extreme, two extremities. Two extremities mean two end points of the diameters. In that end points, Two gates are there, gate number 1 and gate number 2. According to this question, a pole has to be erected on the boundary of the circular ground. I can anywhere, anywhere on the circular ground, I take here a pole. I consider the pole as A. So once again I tell you circular ground of diameter 20 meters 20 meters at the n points of the diameters two gates are there gate number one I consider gate number one that is P then Q is another gate that is that I consider as gate number two one pole has to be erected according to that question that pole has to be on the boundary of the circular ground I have taken over here anywhere you can take I have taken over here now I am going to join P and A Q and A P A and Q A. I consider the uh, distance between gate one and A as X meters. And the distance between gate 2 and I mean gate Q and the pole as y meters. Given the difference between the two gates equals difference between that PA and QA equals 4 meters. Here it is. What is given? The difference of its distances from two diametrically opposed fixed gates P and Q on the boundary is 4 meters. Given x minus y that is equal to 4 meters. 
which implies you know the you know that uh, symbol for difference difference minus represents difference x minus y that is equal to 4 meters now there 4 plus 4 comes left hand side minus 4 that is equal to y which implies y that is equal to x minus 4 then we know the point a lies on the circle right it is a semicircle only you know very well pq is a diameter definitely this portion is a semicircle half of the circle since a lies on the semicircle definitely it will be a right angle already have learned the name standard angle in a semicircle is 90 degree from diagram right here from diagram angle p a q that is equal to 90 degree angle p a q p a q that is equal to 90 degree i write the reason also since angle in a semicircle is always 90 degree remember since it is uh, 90 degree definitely this triangle PAQ is a right angle triangle you know very well one of the angles is 90 degree we can say that triangle is a right angle triangle so in triangle PAQ in triangle PAQ since it is a right angle triangle we can use a Pythagoras theorem Pythagoras theorem even we can say Pythagoras theorem the side opposite to 90 degrees called hypotenuse for your reference I draw the diagram here right angle triangle only which angle is 90 degree angle a then we have p and q a here p q distance between p and a is x so p and a is x distance between q and a that is equal to y y that is equal to x minus 4 instead of y you can write x minus 4 distance between p and q that is equal to 20 meters p and q distance 20 meters this is the hypotenuse correct the side opposite 90 degree this is 90 degree the side opposite 90 degrees hypotenuse I have learnt in trigonometry sorry in geometry The square of the hypotenuse equals that is pq squared equals pq squared equals sum of the squares of the other two sides what are the other two sides ap and aq ap and aq this is a statement of pythagoras theorem square of the hypotenuse equals sum of the squares of the other two sides what are the other two sides ap and aq now pq can be replaced by 20 20 squared equals ap that is equal to x x squared aq that is equal to x minus 4 the whole square 20 square you know that is 400 then x squared as it is 400 that is equal to x squared plus the x minus 4 whole squared you have to apply the formula a squared plus b squared minus 2ab we know that a minus b the whole squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab a that is x 
b that is 4 a minus b a that is equal to x b that is equal to 4 a that is equal to x b that is equal to 4 a that is equal to x b that is equal to 4 okay now we have to simplify 400 equals x squared plus x squared plus 16 minus 2 into 4 8 into x 8x which implies x squared plus x squared that is 2x squared minus 8x plus 16 and plus 400 comes right hand side minus 400 nothing in left hand side we can write 2x squared minus 8x these two are constants only 16 minus 400 that is equal to minus 384 that is equal to 0 16 minus 400 minus 38 bigger number sign minus or so minus 384 equals 0 here 2 here 8 here 384 all the three numbers can be divided by 2 divide by 2 2 to get cancelled x squared minus 8 by 2 that is equal to 4 so 4x 384 divided by 2 that is equal to 192 that is equal to 0 now we can factorize the coefficient of x squared is 1 1 into minus 192 is minus 192 the coefficient of x equals minus 4 you have to find out the two numbers product of the two numbers equals minus 192 and sum of the same two numbers equals minus 4 so you take 192 keep on dividing by the prime number and divide by 2 9 2s are 18 balance 1 2 6 are 12 divide by 2 4 balance 1 2 8s are 16 again divide by 2 24 divide by 2 12 then this is enough it seems because we have 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 2s are 16 16 and 12 are the two numbers for getting 4 straight away right right 16 and 12 For getting minus 4, for getting minus 4, I have to introduce minus for the bigger number. Minus 16 plus 12 that is equal to minus 4. If you multiply the two numbers, you will be getting minus 192. Since it is an equation, you can directly write the values of x. x that is equal to x that is equal to what is the coefficient of x squared 1? Change the sign that 1 becomes minus 1. Write minus 1 in the denominator. minus minus get cancelled 16 by 1 is 16 plus divided by minus is minus 12 by 1 is 12 so 16 and minus 12 16 and minus 12 x is the distance distance cannot be negative here x represents distance between gate 1 and pole a distance cannot be negative so you can write x that is equal to minus 12 is not possible therefore x equal to 16 okay now i'm going to find the value of y i consider y that is equal to x minus 4 as number 1 therefore equation 1 implies y that is equal to x minus 12 correct y that is equal to x minus 4 sorry x minus 4 what is the x 16 16 minus 4 that is 12 now we have 16 and 12 16 this is 12 here 20 According to Pythagoras theorem, 20 squared is 400, 16 squared is 256, and 12 squared is 144, 256 plus 144 that is equal to 400. The question is, is it possible? See, is it possible to do so? Yes, it is possible. 
after that if the answer is yes you have to write the distances from two gates okay from the pole first result yes it is possible yes it is possible next one the distance between between the pole and the gate p equals and the distance between the pole and the gate q equals pole and gate p distance what we consider pole and gate p distance x pole and gate q distance is y first one x second one y first one x x value 16 and y value 12 16 and 12 that's all 16 meters 12 meters problem number 5 is completed I'll be teaching the next problem in the next video thank you children hi students this is Sivakumar 10 standard mathematics chapter number 3 continuation of exercise 3.12 now Problem number six. From a group of two x squared black bees, square root of half of the group went to a tree. Again, eight ninth of the bees went to the same tree. The remaining two got caught up in a fragrant lotus. How many bees were there in total? Here is the question. I written the question here. Solution. Given total number of bees or black base that is equal to 2x squared. You are asked to find out the total number of black bees only. For finding the total number of black bees, you must be knowing the value of x. How to find the value of x? Listen carefully. By data. From a group of 2x squared, that is first write 2x squared, square root of half of the tree went to a tree, sorry, half of the group, group that is 2x squared, square root of half of the group went to a tree, that means that has to be subtra subtracted, square root of half of the group. What is a group? 2x squared. Again I tell you. Square root of half of the total group. That is 2x squared. Went to a tree. Since went to a tree means that has gone to the tree. So that I have subtracted. Okay next. Again 8 ninth of the bees went to the same tree. So, once again you have to subtract 8 ninth of the bees that is 2x squared. The total number of bees 2x squared. 8 ninth of the bees have gone to that same tree. The remaining 2 got caught up in a fragment. So, the remaining means after both have gone, the remaining only one set of uh, bees, I mean, 
square root of half of the group of the tree half of the group of the bees went to the tree and eight ninth of the group of the black bees went to the same tree the remaining only two the remaining only two means is equal to two then you have to simplify how to find the value of x how to find here two to get cancelled 2x squared minus we have only x squared minus a twos are 16 divided by 9 x squared plus 2 comes left hand side minus 2 that is equal to 0 2x squared minus square and square root get cancelled x minus 16 by 9 x squared then minus 2 is equal to 0 for getting the quadratic equation that 9 has to be eliminated so that multiplied by 9 each and every term should be multiplied by 9 9 twos are 18 so 18 x squared 9 into x 9 x here also have to multiply by 9 9 into 16 by 9 into x squared minus 9 twos are 18 9 into 0 0 can cancel 9 so 18 x squared minus 9 x minus 16 x squared minus 18 equals 0 18 x squared minus 16 x squared that is equal to these together equals 2 x squared then minus 9 x then minus 18 equals 0 I got the quadratic equation then I have to solve the equation for that what to do 2 into minus 18 equals minus 36 product minus 36 and sum minus 9 product minus 36 and sum of the two numbers minus 9 the two numbers for getting 36 uh, many combinations are there 36 ones are 36 18 twos are 36 12 threes are 36 9 fours are 36 but here we need 9 so that I am taking 12 and 3. For getting minus 9 while adding the two numbers, you have to introduce minus for the bigger number. Minus 12 plus 3 that is equal to minus 9 and product of the two numbers equals minus 36. Since it is a quadratic equation, for getting the values of x directly, you have to consider the coefficient of x squared. What is the coefficient of x squared? 2. Change the sign. That 2 becomes minus 2 right in the denominator. Minus minus get cancelled and 2 and 12 get cancelled 6. Okay. Here you can directly write x that is equal to 6 and x that is equal to plus divide by minus minus 3 by 2. This is not possible. The reason is, I tell you the reason why it is not possible. Here, even that can be possible only. Yeah, it's not possible only. I, I write the reason over here. Reason. Total number of bees. That is equal to 2x squared given. Correct? 2 into x value that is minus 3 by 2 the whole square. That is equal to 2 into minus 3 the whole square is 9. 2 squared is 4 cancelled that is 2 2 table 2 times um, 1 time 2 times that is equal to 9 by 2 total number of bees 9 by 2 bees how it is possible fraction number of bees cannot be a fraction one therefore it is not possible already i have written here so therefore x equal to 6 i got the value of x 
but we have to find out the number of bees. Therefore, the total number of bees in the group that is given as 2x squared in the question itself. 2 into x value 6 square that is equal to 2 into 6 square 36 36 to 72 total number of bees in the group 72 for verification just listen from the total number of bees I mean 72 bees square root of half of the group of bees that is 72 total 72 minus 8 ninth of the group 8 ninth of the group of bees that is 72 only 2 left if you simplify you have to get 2 then only your answer is correct we can verify 2 table how many times 36 times 9 table 8 times that is equal to 72 minus square root of 1 into 36 36 minus 8 8 so 64 that is equal to 72 minus 36 square root is 6 minus 64 equals 72 minus 6 that is equal to 66 66 minus 64 that is equal to 2 so 2 bees left okay our answer is absolutely correct because two only left over here according to the given condition. So total number of bees in the group equals 72. We got it. So problem number six is completed. I'll be teaching the next problem in the next video. Thank you, children. Hi students, this is Okumar. 10th standard mathematics chapter number 3 continuation of exercise 3.12 now problem number 7 music is being played in two opposite galleries with a certain group of people in the first gallery a group of four singers were singing and in the second gallery nine singers were singing The two galleries are separated by the distance of 70 meters. Where should a person stand for hearing the same intensity of the singer's voice? Again, where should a person stand for hearing the same intensity of the singer's voice? Hint also given, the ratio of the sound intensity is equal to the square of the ratio of their corresponding distances okay we have uh, two galleries i consider in the first gallery four singers are singing in second gallery nine singers are singing Distance between the two galleries equals 70 meters. A person, I consider this point as A. And this point as B. A to B distance is 70 meters. A person stands somewhere between A and B somewhere between A and B. Hearing the same intensity of the singer's voice. A person, again I tell you a person, P is a person, stands somewhere between A and B. From this point, the person's person is hearing the same in intensity from gallery 1 and from gallery 2. We had to find out the distance between A and P and B and P. 
I consider the distance between A and P as x meters. Since it is x, definitely B to B is 70 minus x, correct? 70 minus x meters because together 70 meters if we add we will be getting 70 minus x plus x get cancelled you will be getting 70 so total from here to here the distance is 70 meters let the sound intensity of a person from P to first gallery and P to second gallery B. P to first gallery, how many singers are there? Four singers. So I consider as 4K and P to B. The sound intensity, since we have 9 singers, you have to consider as 9K respectively. So, just you have to introduce the constant K. You are not supposed to write 4 and 9. 4 and 9 are the singers, number of singers. For sound intensity, you have to introduce the constant K, 4K and 9K. Right. Now, by data. The hint is given, I read that one, listen. The ratio of the sound intensity is, ratio of the sound intensity that is 4K is to 9K, 4K is to 9K ratio is equal to square of the ratio of their corresponding distances, square of their ratio of their corresponding distances. What are the distances? x as well as 70 minus x x here 70 minus x okay square we have to simplify you have to find the value of x this ratio can be written as 4k divided by 9k that is equal to this itself can be written as this is 70 minus x the whole square okay x square divided by 70 minus x the whole square now we have to simplify, listen carefully, kk get cancelled, now 4 divided by 9 that is equal to x square divided by 70 minus x the whole square. Since we have x square here also the whole square, taking square root on both sides for eliminating the square, tsr on bs which implies i write rhs first x square divided by 70 minus x the whole square in left turns i have written that is equal to i am going to write lhs in rhs 4 by 9 square root uh, already i told you whenever square comes for eliminating that square you have to introduce plus or minus correct because it is a quadratic equation, it has definitely two roots. One is plus one, another one minus. Now, while taking square root, a square and square root get cancelled, you will be getting x in the numerator. Like that, square and square root get cancelled, be getting 70 minus x in the denominator. Plus or minus. Square root of 4, that is equal to 2. Square root of 9, that is equal to 3. Now, you have to cross multiply. 3x, that is equal to plus or minus, I write here, 3x that is equal to plus or minus 2 into cross multiply 70 minus x. 3x equal to plus 2 into 70 minus x, another one, 3x equal to minus 2 into 70 minus x, two results. Implies. 3x equal to plus 2 into 70 minus x or 3x equal to plus 2 into 70 minus x or 3x equal to minus 2 into 
70 minus x which implies 3x that is equal to 2 into 70 140 minus 2 into x 2x which implies minus 2x comes left hand side plus 3x plus 2x 3x plus 2x that is equal to 140 therefore 3x plus 2x that is 5x that is equal to 140 therefore x equal to 140 divided by 5 therefore x that is equal to divide by 5 how many times 2 times 8 times so 28 x value is 28 here which implies 3x that is equal to minus 2 into 7 that is equal to minus 140 minus into minus plus 2 into x 2x which implies 3x plus 2x comes left hand side minus 2x that is equal to minus 140 which implies 3x minus 2x is minus sorry plus x plus x that is equal to minus 140 x is the distance for this problem x represents distance so this is not possible because the distance cannot be negative here we have taken a to p distances x meter distance cannot be negative so x that is equal to 28 now we can write the result the question is where should a person stand for hearing the same intensity of the singer's voice okay we know the value of x therefore a person p for hearing the same intensity of the singer's voice from gallery 1 equals x meters from gallery 2 equals 70 minus x meters okay from gallery 1 x from gallery 2 70 minus x final result listen therefore the distance of the person P for hearing the intensity from gallery one equals X that is equal to X meter that is equal to twenty eight meters and the distance of the same person be for hearing the intensity from gallery 2 equals 70 minus x meters that is equal to 70 minus x value is 28 meters that is equal to 42 meters so problem number seven is completed I'll be teaching the next problem, that is problem number 8 in the next video. Thank you children.